Hey everybody, it's Peter from the Kia Hyundai channel and today we're going to talk about charging best practices because we have plug-in hybrid electric vehicles, so PHEVs, and we have EVs, electric vehicles, and on occasion I give a little bit different advice for each vehicle, so I'm going to clarify why I have different advice for each type of uh, vehicle, and I just want to clarify one more thing, I'm not the ultimate expert on this. This is based on my research, my understanding, what I would do. There may be better people, more qualified than me, that give better advice than I do. Um, and by all means, follow them if you think their advice is better than mine. No hard feelings. But I own an electric vehicle, and I do study this stuff. So here is a video, Kia Hyundai class, on your charging best practices. So first of all, there's the 80-20 rule kind of thing. It's much different than the traditional 80-20 rule. Uh, if you have an electric vehicle, you'll hear me talk a lot about basically keeping that charge between 20% at the low end and 80% at the high end. And again, just for an EV, that kind of matters. And uh, our understanding with that is basically that's going to help you with the longevity of the battery to, to avoid, to avoid uh, battery degradation over time. And I've had a car electric vehicle since 2019. We're almost into 2022 right now. And I've had essentially zero range degradation at all by using that practice um, and some of the other things that I may mention in this video. So I don't know if that is what's keeping it, but we do recommend between 20 and 80%. And what that means is a lot of us who own electric vehicles will only charge the vehicle to 80%, which you can set up in your dash and do that. Um, and then we don't drive it below 20% unless we need the range. There's nothing wrong with doing charging above that and using it and going below that and using it. But we want to try to keep the majority of our driving and the majority of our sitting, the vehicle when it's sitting, in that 80 to 20 or 20% to 80% range. So for instance, if I'm going on a really long drive, I'll definitely charge it up to 100% and go down. And if I'm coming home, I'm not going to stop at 20% and hit the charger when I know I can make it in the next little while and um, you know make it home before I get to zero. So as much as possible, keep an electric vehicle between 80% and 20%. That is my advice. Now, where the controversy comes in is I don't advise this for PHEVs, and I'll explain why. Part of this 80-20 type thing is you don't want to store the vehicle at 100% charge. If you're, going to store, if you're going away on a PHEV or an EV for a long period of time, keep it at 80%. That's sort of what we advise as best practices. So on a PHEV, that top 20% doesn't matter as much because if you had an electric vehicle and you did a lot of in-town driving, you might go from 100% down to 90% and then charge it full again. 100% down to 87% and charge it full again. Doing that over and over again, only using the very top edge of the battery, is not what we consider to be best practices. So that's part of the reason is if you're at 80%, you can charge up as necessary and not be in that range that potentially could, according to some people's research, cause some battery degradation. So that's in an EV. On a PHEV, it doesn't matter nearly as much because if you have a PHEV in a Sorento, for instance, or a Tucson, you've got around 50 uh, kilometers of range or so, approximately, and you're generally going to go through more than just that top 10% of battery. So the idea with this 80%, uh, keep it at 80% with an EV, is so that you're not only using the very top end of the battery, and uh, on a PHEV, you'll generally move through that battery more often and you won't it's very hard to just you'll, i mean you'll be doing a super short trip if you're only using the top top portion of the battery so on a phev we recommend you charge to 100 percent because you're gonna move through that power anyways and it's not a big deal for that now the bottom 20 percent um on a PHEV, your car takes care of that for you on our kia and hyundai products right now uh if you have a phev that bottom 20%, uh, when you run out of full electric plugged in charge, you're still keeping that bottom portion of the battery as a hybrid vehicle where it will charge and discharge as necessary. And it, the car will kind of maintain that on its own. So on a PHEV, I do recommend charging to 100%. The only time I would say maybe, and it's really just a maybe, uh, that you wouldn't want to charge to 100% is if you were going away for an extended period of time, just leave it at around 80% or just somewhere in that 80 to 20% range. Potentially. And again, I'm not a scientist. I'm just telling you what I've researched. So PHEV, go ahead, charge the thing full. Don't worry about the bottom end of the range. Car takes care of that. EV, try to run between 80 and 20% as much as possible. And if you need more, absolutely use more. Charge it up and use it. Uh, they don't want you storing the car at 100%, for instance. So you can you know, run that down a little bit and do that. Next thing we're going to talk about is scheduling the charge. Both of these vehicles, whether it's a PHEV 
or a electric vehicle, you can schedule the charge. And people ask me, well, why would you want to do that? Uh, scheduling charge really comes down to what your hydro rates are. In various parts of the country and around the world, hydro rates can be cheaper at certain times of day. So let's say after 7 o'clock at night, the hydro rates are cheaper than they would be midday. So you can schedule a car to charge only after the rates go cheaper. So let's call it 7 o'clock at night. The danger in doing that is if you plug the car in in the afternoon, for instance, and it's not scheduled to charge till 7 o'clock, you may not have the charge that you need to get back what you know, the power that you need. Um, so you can schedule the charge all you want, and it depends on your use case. I don't worry about scheduling my charge. I just charge all the time because to me, even if the electricity is more expensive, once I plug it in, I kind of want to get that charge. And um, it's still, with expensive electricity, cheaper to run on the pure electric mode or fully electric vehicle, um, even with the higher electricity rates. But of course, to maximize your savings, you can schedule the charge. Just keep in mind that um, when you plug in the car, you're looking for some lights on the dash or wherever those lights are on the vehicle to start blinking. If they don't start blinking, uh, find out why. It could be just because you haven't got the charge scheduled. It could be because you've got um, you know, a problem with the charger or the vehicle. So scheduling a charge, by all means, do it on both vehicles. Uh, but just remember you're saving just minor amounts and it may not be worth it to on a PHE, for instance, to schedule your charge to later and then end up running on gasoline anyways. So something to keep in mind. Level two versus level one chargers. So of course the Kia and Hyundai products come with a level one charger. A level one plugs in the wall the same way a toaster does. Um, so on a PHEV, for most people, I recommend the level one charger is probably good enough for most of you. A level two charger is a faster charger. You're gonna have that professionally installed and it runs in essentially like a dryer plug and that will speed up your charge time significantly. I do recommend if you have an EV, you get that level two charger. And I'm saying that being someone who has never used a level two charger in my own home. Part of that is because I have the insurance of being able to come to my workplace, which is very close to charge. I also have a family nearby that has a level two charger in their house, so I could charge there. Uh, so you absolutely can run a full EV on a level one charger. Uh, you just need that time to charge. And for my family, with our driving, that works perfectly fine. But I do recommend a level two charger with an EV. On a PHEV, I don't necessarily recommend it, but where it might matter is, let's assume that you go to school, drive your kids to school in the morning, uh, do some running around, and then you wanna maximize your EV usage, and you gotta go pick them up at like three o'clock in the afternoon. Just one use case example of having to go out in the morning, having to go out in the afternoon. Um, in that case, you may not get all the charge you want back, and it may be worthwhile for you to get a level two charger. If you're doing a cost analysis thing, it's totally up to you on uh, if that makes sense. But if you're doing an environmental type thing where you don't want those tailpipe emissions as much as you can, then it may be worth it to pay for that level two charger on a PHEV. There is no faster charge at this point in our PHEVs, just level one and level two. So you, that's the only decision you have to make there. Um, as, as far as fast charging on an EV, when we talk about charging best practices, um, the food people are going to get mad at me, but I kind of equate it to like eating burgers or e eating pizza, that kind of thing. There's nothing wrong with fast charging. That's a level three charger, or in some cases faster, depending on your EV as they'll come out in the future here. Um, there's nothing wrong with fast charging your EV, but I always say it's kind of like eating pizza or eating burgers. If that's the only thing you do, eh, it's probably not going to be the best thing for you long term. If you are regularly charging a level two or level one charger, and then as you need it, use a fast charger, that would be best practices. So let's just recap quickly. 80 and 20, if you have a full EV, try to keep your charge in there, whether it's driving or sitting, keep your charge between that 80 and 20 as much as possible. The only thing I didn't touch on is the EV side of things. Some people will run their EV down low, uh, below 20%, and only charge up a little bit, then have to go again, only charge up a little bit, have to go again. So you don't wanna do the majority of your driving in an EV at the bottom 20% or at the top 20%. Try to keep between 80 and 20 uh, in an EV, in a PHEV, just charge it full, use it regularly, shouldn't be an issue. Uh, again, based on my opinion and my research. Uh, scheduling a charge, just keep in mind that might uh, cause an issue on a PHEV of you using more gasoline. You're avoiding paying more for electricity, but you might pay more in gasoline, so that's something to keep in mind on a PHEV. Level one and level two charger, use them as much as uh, you want. It'll depend on which one you want. Uh, the most and level three charging on an EV only is use when you need it only like for on a long trip or something like that and that's it so those are my 
charging best practices based on my research. And like I said, there are a lot more smarter people than me out there that may uh, contradict me. And there may be very good reasons to listen to those people as well. But I do get asked these questions regularly. So that's what I do with EVs and PHEVs. And you can let me know what you might do in the comments below. Or um, yeah, let us know if this is a helpful video for you. And uh, yeah, we'll have more of these in the future. So thanks for watching our Kia Hyundai class. Just so you know, we do these all the time. So hit subscribe if you want to know more about Kia and Hyundai products. And of course, we do a live video every weekday at 2 o'clock to go really in-depth into the vehicles that you may be looking at. Thanks everybody for watching.